So a lot of you guys have been asking me what are the moving averages that I use, what indicators do I use, and what are their settings. So in this video, I'm going to review it all. I'm going to show you guys everything there is to know about the moving average that I use. This is my own personal strategy, and I can't believe I'm going to give it away for free. So watch till the end of this video, and I can guarantee you, you will be able to understand where to end up for a buy, where to end up for a sell, so that you can get a sniper entry. Let's go. So how you can set up the moving averages that I use is by going to this indicator step right here and then just click on moving average exponential. Click on this one right here and then you add two of them and then change one of it to eight and one of them to 14. So one length is 14, the other one is eight. And you can change the color to whatever you want. I just use the blue and red, all right? And also a lot of you have been asking me what is the indicator that I use. I have tried Bollinger Bands, RSI, MACD, basically all the indicators that you have think of, I've tried them. But I found that the moving average works best for me because I like that it is so clean on my charts. Like, look at this. It is so clean. It's not even messy. And number two is, it's just so simple to use, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you how to use it right now. And the reason why I don't use a lot of indicators is because I want to focus on price action. Because all indicators lack. But you know what does not lack? Price action. So basically, when the blue line is above the red line, just like this, this means price is in the uptrend. So we should only be looking to buy because we want to trade with the trend. And then when the red line is above the blue line, like this, this means that right now we are in a downtrend and we should only be looking to sell. So when the red line crosses over the blue line immediately, just like this, we want to enter for a sell position. And then when the blue line crosses over the red line, this is when we want to enter for a buy position immediately. So this is what we call the moving average crossover strategy. Yup, it's really just as simple as that. Wait, but wait. If it's so simple, that means every single trader should be driving Lamborghini everywhere, right? But that's not the truth. Because it's not that simple, alright? Because most of the time when the moving average crossover is actually a fake out. So, how do you actually do this, man? Don't worry, I got you. That's why I always say that you cannot enter immediately when you only have one confluence. You need multiple confluences because they all add up together to help you determine whether you should go in for a buy or a sell. So in this case right here, you can see like, the moving average, the red line has been above the blue line for quite some time, right? Because it's in a very clear downtrend and price is making lower highs, lower lows. So obviously this is a downtrend. But you can see when price approach this support level that we have drawn, this major support area, this is like a little entire area right here. This is a very, very strong support area. So as price approaches this area, you will definitely start to see like some sellers start to go away because some buyers is going to be waiting at this exact level to enter for a buy position. So you can see as price approaches this level, the candlesticks are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. This shows us that the price is losing momentum and price is losing steam. And right here, guys, right here, this is when you see the blue line starts to cross over the red line. Holy shit, boys. The blue line has started to cross over the red line. So at first, it was still the red line above the blue line. But right here, blue above red. Guess what, guys? This right here is our opportunity. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. So this right here, we can enter for a buy position right here. But remember I said, you cannot just enter immediately when the moving average cross over. You need multiple confluences. And I always tell you guys to look for at least three confluences before you enter for the trade. So right now, the first confluence is this moving average cross over. Second confluence is this support area, right? This is a very strong support area. And there is bias in this area. The third confluence is obviously the bullish engulfing candlestick right here. This is a big fat green candlestick. And chances are if you see this big ass green candlestick at the support area, guess what? Price is about to reverse and go to the fucking moon, baby. So this is when we enter for our buy position. And the right here, place our stop loss below this support area right here. And then we can place our take profit at the next key level. So if you zoom out, you see like the next key level maybe somewhere right around here. There's another key level right here. This is a very strong resistance area. You can put it right here or even right here. I'll just put it way up here. And with that said, we are on the one hour time frame right now. And I always enter on the 15 minute time frame to get my sniper entry. So if you go down to the 15 minute time frame, you will see, holy shit. 
the moving average has crossed over right here guys this right here this is when the moving average has crossed over not all the way up here but all the way down here so if you enter for the 15 minute time frame you could have gotten like a sniper entry right here with your three confluences moving average crossover support area and also some sort of like candlestick bullish engulfing candlestick right here we enter for buy there place our stop loss below the supports and your first take profit can be at this resistance area right here that we have drawn or it can be at a second resistance area which is a much stronger resistance area right here our place is just right there and let's see how this trade plays out Okay, this is gonna take ages to go there. Come on, come on. This is on the 15 minute time frame, right? This is why I placed my first take profit right here, guys. Because on a 15 minute time frame, and if this is the intraday trade, you will have smashed your take profit within a day right here. Like this is the first take profit, right? If you place it right here, your first take profit, you have, could have closed this trade and got out of this trade. But if you are like, like more of a swing trader, you wanna catch more pips, you will place it right here. And we just wait, just be patient, be patient. Now this is a really, really song, long swing trade. And bam, there we go, there we go, there we go, boys. Took a while, took a while. It took maybe one week for us to reach there. But yeah, this is highly suitable for you if you are swing trading. But if you're not, if you are intraday trading and you enter on a 15 minute time frame, you might want to just place your take profit right here at like the most recent resistance area. But if you are swing trading and you don't mind holding the trade for weeks, or days or months even you can just put a trade up at the next major key level i'm gonna show you another example right now so you can see there's a, like a little support area right here and also like a very strong resistance area right here and price has did this major downtrend and now it starts retracing right so it could be creating a new lower high how do we know price is done retracing we wait for the moving average to cross over so right now we still wait we do not enter right here yet and right here you can start to see like price might be crossing down so in this case we can even draw like a little trend line right here okay draw like a little trend line right here and you can see right here this is when like the red line i mean the blue line has crossed over the red line you can see at first it's all red line above the blue line this means it's a downtrend and then the blue line starts crossing over the red line this means this is a retracement and now we want to wait for the red line to cross over the blue line again and holy hell that is a mouthful that is a mouthful of words so yeah right now we just wait for the red line to cross over the blue line i feel like i'm watching like a game right now i'm like freaking like cheering for my trade what the hell so we just wait we just wait okay you can see right here this is when price broke through the trend line price broke through the trend line right here and the moving average has already crossed over that is already two two confluence and your third confluence could be a candlestick pattern you can see this is a bearish engulfing candlestick big fat red candlestick another big fat red candlestick how do we know this is the bearish engulfing candlestick you compare this candlestick right here with the previous candlesticks which is small 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 big fat red candlestick that's obviously a bearish engulfing candlestick three confluence we can enter for ourselves right here and then we place our stop loss at the last swing high which is right here this is the last swing high place our take profit at this support area that we have drawn and now let's watch this trade go down to smash our take profit bam 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 and it ultimately went down and smashed our take profit right here right this is when we have smashed our take profit and we have closed a 1 is to 4 risk to reward ratio trade. That is pretty pang guys, that is pretty pang. So now that you have seen the power of moving average crossover, you can apply this into your trading arsenal. And make sure that you do not just enter immediately when you see a moving average crossover. Because there is a lot of fake outs. Make sure you always combine it with some sort of other confluences, like candlestick patterns, support and resistance, trend lines, market structure, Fibonacci, whatever tool that you use, combine it with at least two other confluences welcome to the unfiltered section so all of these unfiltered sections are literally designed to help you become profitable traders they are either like tips on psychology or risk management tips that will 10x your trading so i really really need you to like put away all your distractions and be focused and like stop scrolling around looking at your youtube suggestions or like the comments on this video stop looking at the suggestions stop looking at the comments focus on what i'm about to say so today we are going to talk about trust the process trust the process success looks like an exponential curve and right now you are right here you are right here at the point where you are working so hard 
but you are not seeing results. You're not getting results in return. Let's say you have been practicing trading for quite some time now, but you have not made any significant profits. Yup, that's right. You are right there. You are right here, guys. And if you feel like giving up, I want you to remember to never ever give up. Never throw in the towel. Because right now, you are right here on this exponential curve. So you are right here, and you are like just been pushing, working hard, but not seeing anything in return. But trust me when I say that, when you reach right here, this is when the shit gets real. This is when your income is gonna explode. This is when you're gonna make the most amount of money that you made in your entire life. And you're gonna do that through trading. So if you give up right here, guess what? You're never gonna make it right here before the success come in and explode your wealth. You're never gonna make it there. Trading is literally one of the only jobs in the world which does not have a cap to the amount of money you can potentially make. So of course it's gonna be hard, right? Think about jobs like doctors, lawyers and CEOs. These are all super high paying jobs which requires you to put in years and years of studying, experience and hard work. Trading is the same. You see those traders on Instagram making like six figures in a year, millions in a year. Guess what? They have put in the work and trust me, they did not get there just because they traded for one year. That's unrealistic. You have to understand the fact that trading is not easy because trading requires you to master your emotions and as humans, it is so hard for us to master our emotions. Think about like the last time you quarreled with a loved one. Were you able to control your emotions? No, because like when it's like in the heat of the moment, you just like spur out. You spur like a little spur. You know what I'm saying? You're like you get angry at your wife or some shit and you shout at her. Right? Because as humans, we have emotions and it's so damn hard to control these emotions. That is what makes trading so hard. But trust me when I say that it's gonna be worth it if you keep going. What if I tell you that I literally manifested my dream lifestyle? Three years ago when I first started learning like how to make money online, I remember like I was just searching for ways to make money online, starting a business, affiliate marketing, uh, drop shipping, a lot of ways to make money online. And then that is when I discovered Forex trading, right? So when I first decided to become a trader, I told myself that one day I'm gonna live like the digital nomad lifestyle. You know like the one where you see on Instagram or YouTube where people like sit down on a nice beach and I have the laptop in their lap and then like and make money like that is the dream bro that is the dream when I first started trading and guess what I've achieved that after two to three years of hard work I have finally achieved that and for most of you guys who know my story you will know that I was a dead broke college student who had less than $100 in my bank account two or three years ago less than $100 in my bank account that was how fucking broke I went I was dead fucking broke, bro. I remember that I was so fucking broke that I had to buy secondhand books, man. I have to buy used books that people have read before. People have read before, man. That is how hungry I was to succeed. I was willing to buy secondhand books, guys. Those filthy secondhand books. I can literally have like... Uh, I can literally go take a book from the bookshelf and show you guys right now. It's like this one book that is like so freaking yellow. Like the pages are yellow and it smells so fucking dirty. And fast forward to three years later, I have achieved my goal of becoming a digital nomad. I have just came back from Thailand where I literally like have been doing some trading in Thailand and just like sitting there and living the dream, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel so grateful, so content and so like proud that I have finally got to the place where I want to be. I have achieved the three types of freedom, which is time freedom, financial freedom and location freedom which means that I can work whenever I want, I can work at anywhere I want, and I have enough money that I don't have to worry about anything. Anything I want to eat, I can just get it, man. And three years ago, I was worried about buying a $5 chicken rice. $5 chicken rice, and I was like, fuck, that shit is expensive, bro. $5, fuck, man. And now I can eat $50 chicken rice, bro. And now I can literally like buy whatever the fuck I want. This is the freedom that I have dreamed of for three years. For three years, I worked my ass off to get to the place where I am right now. So chances are, if you're watching this, you are probably like one year into the market or even like six months or you're just a complete beginner into trading and you have lost a few trades in a row and you feel like giving up. Man, you feel like giving up, bro. You feel like giving up. Why not push on for another few years? You need to give yourself some time to succeed, bro. 
you should not be putting like a time limit to yourself on when you should succeed like oh right now i'm 21 years old and i want to be a millionaire in 22 year old you should not be giving yourself a time limit on when you can be a profitable trader what i mean by that is that a lot of you will think that oh i have to be a profitable trader in six months guess what that's the wrong mindset to have because if you go in with that mindset after you lose a few trades in a row you will feel like giving up and after a few months and you are still not profitable, you will feel like giving up. Remember the curve that I drawn for you? A few months is right here. A few years could be right here. You could be at this flat line for a few years before you start seeing significant amount of money which will change your life forever. I know friends who are like 3 years into the market and they are still not profitable. 3 fucking years. And I know people who can master the markets and become profitable within 6 months. 6 months everybody's trading journey is different. You can become profitable within 6 months, but it can take me 2 years, 3 years, 5 years, 10 years, right? So everybody's trading journey is different, and I always tell my students that, bro, you are gonna become profitable faster than I do, because I had of trials and tribulations, trial and error, finding that right strategy, and blowing multiple accounts before I actually start to figure some things out. That's why I always say that everybody's journey is different. What works for you might not work for me. And what works for me might not work for you. You have to figure out your own trading style, your own trading strategy, and do not put like a time limit on when you should succeed, when you can succeed. And I'm here to lead an example for you. I'm here as your tribe leader to lead this tribe, to lead this movement that we have. I have been in the two extreme ends of poverty and wealth. I was extremely broke and I'm also pretty comfortable right now with the amount of money I have. I'm on both spectrums so I know what it feels like to be so broke where you work 9 hours per day and you could not have dinner. There was this one time where I was working at a bartender and I did not have dinner for days straight because my shift was at night and I just cannot afford to have dinner. I know what it feels like to be broke and I want to give you hope that you can make it. Trust me, if I can make it, you can make it. I'm not special. I do not come from a rich family. I do not have like a freaking university PhD. None of that shit. If I can do it, you can do it. And I want to tell you that I believe in you, brother. Keep going and we are all going to make it, brothers. Keep going, get locked in, stay focused, do not give up, watch all my videos, implement the advice, practice, backtest, and just do whatever you can to get locked in into trading and trust me just try getting locked in into trading for six months just try it for six months and i can guarantee you your life will change forever if you put in the work for at least six months straight i want you to go down to the comment section right now and comment down below what are your hopes and dreams like what do you want to achieve from trading and let's give each other hope and support by replying to each other's comments and liking each other's comments it will be really really wholesome for me to see that and like this video if this video is helpful and hit on the subscribe button and the freaking bell beside it smash the bell beside it all right and welcome to the tribe and remember you're just one trade away Mwah, baby